For two days running, thousands of students have rallied in Paris. Some fought battles with police. The anger focused on the hardline interior minister, Manuel Valls, who they accuse of betraying socialist values. At the centre of the row is 15-year-old Leonardo Di Brani, of Roma descent. She studied in France for almost five years, but earlier this month, while on a school trip, she was removed from the bus in front of classmates and returned the same day to her father's native Kosovo. Such were the recriminations, the government ordered a review of the case, and today President Hollande said she could return to France to a host family to complete her studies, but not, he said, with her parents and five siblings. It's an offer Leonardo says she can't accept. I reply no to the host family. I don't know where they are and who they are. I will be far from my friends and teachers and from my school. I don't know where they are, but I say no and it's done. I want to be with my family. Her father said the family belong together. I don't understand. What can I say? Leonardo has the right to go back to school, but only Leonardo. And I said, if you have an extra child for me, then send them back and I will raise him or her. Either we all go or nobody goes. The investigation into the handling of the case ruled the authorities had acted according to the law. Police and local authorities were forced to intervene, said the report, after the family stayed beyond an expulsion order. But the inquiry also recommends that in the future, children should not be detained while in the care of schools. This case is a delicate one for the socialists. There have been bitter recriminations within the party. But the government is ever mindful that in polls, 70% of the French side with the interior minister and his tough approach to immigration. It perhaps explains why until this point, President Hollande has been conspicuously absent from the debate. Tonight, in a bid to suit all parties, it appears he's satisfied no one. Christian Fraser, BBC News, Paris.